What's up guys, Captain Gamester here, and we're gonna take a look at this Geogon starter set. The new series is out. This is the pro set. It is a starter set, 40 card deck included. I'm super stoked to open this up and add this to the collection and to be able to play with it. So let's take a look and get going. All right. Now let's see, I usually open it from the bottom here. Voila! Okay, and looks like we got that shark tar just kind of hidden up in the corner. And let's just start with this guy. We'll take a look at the Bakugan first, by the way. So this dude looks super cool. I like it. They've changed and evolved him. Now he basically... Zoom it right there. He has legs. I like it. He has legs. Still got his fin. They gave him a longer tail. Look at that. I like the uh, effect on that for sure. It looks like, okay, so one's going to flip up and then one's going to stay down. So he has that double fin. He has like chomp chomp action. And I like how they put his hands right over there. Yeah, this looks great. Super cool. And let's see, what does he put his B power on here? B power is 600. Okay, well, now let's see what else we're going to get here. We get some cores. We get, let's see here, orange shield plus 400. 100 for the green fist, not too shabby. Plus four, another 400. Ooh, we got a trap. This is be this will be tricky because a lot of people use powerful magic shields like the 650s. So maybe showing that minus 500 would be pretty useful. Uh, here we go to minus three damage and a plus 600. Cool. Let's see, we got for the characters we got a Falcron, double green fist 500. Nothing too special. The Shark Tark Ultra. <laughs> Shark Tar, Shark Tar Ultra. Okay, this guy's Magic Shield, Orange Shield 605. Now this is the standout heavy hitter. I'm excited about this guy and playing Pyrus. We got Rascal with a Magic Shield, Orange Shield, and check this out. 400 BP, but you land on that shield, you get 400. So he's again technically an 800 as long as you're hitting the shields and four damage. So let's just go boom. Yes, Rascal is always a champ. Looks great, as you can see. And what do we got here? The Falcron. Look at that. All right, I'll bring these guys up close. This will be my first uh, Falcron for sure. And I like this a lot. Looks really good. The you know the um, the Falcon head here with the beak looks great. You know, he has like half a body right there. He got his little feet down there. Of course, his wings, they did perfectly. So this guy looks really cool. Kind of like, again, a little Beast Wars action going on. And I have gotten a Frasco before, but again, it's still awesome to always see. All right, so the other thing now, we're going to take a look at the pack. That's also the other main reason I wanted to check this out. So let's give this a quick open. See how this goes. Thank you very much and welcome back. All right, here's the deck. I'm just gonna go through these pretty quick, give you guys my thoughts and opinions. Uh, this could be decent. A burst of hail, skin bolt, silk bolt barrier. Kind of expensive, but gives you like a scry ability. Again, I want to build up hails eventually for sure. Halt outsiders, nice. You could stop basically anything. Another one of these kind of halt outsiders. I've seen one of these also. I think either an Aquos or Ventus. Aqua Speed. This is really good. I'll need to put this on my deck. At least one, right? Because you can stop an Aqua or Ventus. Two very powerful factions. Set that aside. Crystal Blue. At the start of the turn, draw a card. This might be interesting to put one of. Titanic Fusion Wave Maker. I've seen this before. Pretty pricey, but man, that four costing 1,000 B. Another Burst of Hails. Chomping Tornado. I like this. This isn't bad. Two for plus 500. Might be worth running one or two of these. Aquos Horror Crush, uh, Spire. If you have drawn an extra card this turn, you can get plus nine damage. We got a damage booster. Not quite sure if I'm using this, but still interesting nonetheless. Ooh, this is not too bad. Draw a card, or oh, draw two cards, and then you can play something that costs three or less. So this helps things like uh, you know sink and flow. So I might want to consider that. Aquos Speed, oh, another one of these, very good. All right, Pyrus cards, Pyrotomic Feasto. Yeah, like here we go. See if you've drawn a card already. Uh, plus 900 instead. And you get to scry. This could be really powerful for uh, 
Papyrus for sure. Let's take it over there. The deep dives. Ooh, I want these for sure. Especially with Geogon, this is great. Or even on your first turn, if you miss a roll, you get to draw a card. So this is free. And then you get to reroll your Bakugan. Nice. Chomping Tornado. Definitely be using those. Ever Burnings. Let's see here. You get to draw two and then discard one of them. Not too bad. But this is a flip card. So this is kind of like you're doing some more damage to yourself. In a sense, Aquos Flames. Wow, it can stop any attack. And then if you've drawn a card, extra card this turn. So maybe if you've drawn an effect and you've lost a battle, this isn't too bad. I mean, it'll cost two and just stop anything. So that could be good. Swift Flame. Nice. Stop, stop. Yeah, these are really powerful for Pyrus for sure. These other ones are merged with Aquos, which means your deck needs to have Pyrus and Aquos in it, which is fine. It's okay. You know, you get to draw a card, replace it for just a little extra 100B poke. Scorching Spiral, 100B. Another one of these cards that I'm working off of Inspire. Not too bad. River Rage, wow, plus three Frost Strike. And you get to draw an extra Double Strike. Not too shabby. Liquid Fire Plate looks awesome. I love the way the gears look. Whenever Bakugan with this opens up, you get to draw a card. Cost two for one damage, one B. Not too bad. Leah, Team Strike. Nice, she's a hero, you get to replace her. And if you get that Shun, Team Strike, all your Bakugan get plus one damage. Seems like a fun card, nothing too competitive. Pyru Boiler, plus six damage. From Fusion Mindburn, get to draw 100 B. Spitter Strike, Sea Splitter Strike, sorry. Draw a card, a lot of card draws, so they're basically using Inspire for the Pyrus Aquo steam. Not too bad. Crystal Blue, Bakugan Brawler, looks nice. When you play an action card, give a Bakugan plus one damage. So that's small. I'm not sure that stuff adds up. A lot of plus one damages. Not sure that's really enough to make a difference. And then we got Shun, Team Strike, who helps out. Now he gives us, see, he gives a plus 100 B, she gives the plus one damage. All right, there you guys go. That is a great pack to start with and play with. I mean, definitely, if you like these factions, you should pick it up. Again, it gives you a lot of good Aquos and Pyrus cards. So... If you're looking at playing those two together, well, you're going to get a super powerful Pyrus Bakugan and some nice cards to start building your Pyrus and Aquos deck. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Captain Gamestead, the Super Fun Force, will be coming back at you. Peace.